I was a kid in the 90s, so I grew up watching Batman the Animated Series on TV when it aired. So I first heard of Harley Quinn when she made her first appearance in that. And she definitely stood out because she was a new villain. And usually animated shows that introduce new characters to existing properties usually miss the mark with them, but not with Harley Quinn. Besides the Joker, she's probably the most popular Batman villain. She had a great design. She was funny. She was lethal. She was sexy. Or maybe I just have a thing for blondes that are out of their minds. Maybe every teenage boy does. I will admit that I haven't kept up to date with the comics because I just can't consume every piece of media out there. And most of my comic book reading happened in the 90s and early 2000s. So Margot Robbie's portrayal of Harley Quinn on the big screen kind of reinvigorated my love of the character. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I really do. And I also love the classic version. So with that said, remember that this list is my opinion. Yours will probably differ. So let me know in the comments below what your top 10 Harley Quinn Funko Pops are. I usually don't like Christmas Pops or Christmas collectibles in general, but Harley Quinn with Helper is one of the best Christmas Pops that Funko has ever made. And it's not like out of left field that they would make Harley Quinn in a Christmas outfit. In various media and other collectibles, Christmas Harley Quinn is a thing. But what I really like about this one is that it's a completely new sculpt. I really like the way they did the hair. Some of the Harley Quinns have pretty bad hair sculpts. This is one of the best ones. Just nice details all around. And of course I love the pops that come with an extra little pop. It's one of our hyenas. And even he has a little green mohawk. Just a perfect example of a Christmas pop. The black light Harley Quinn is just a repaint. But I really love the black light pops. I love how bright they are. I love how different they look from the original, even though it's just a repaint. I even love the box art. It all ties in really beautifully. And everybody's going crazy for the Marvel Blacklight Pops. But the set of three Batman the Animated Series Blacklight Pops, to me, are kind of the coolest ones. Birds of Prey wasn't the best movie. It wasn't even a good movie. But I enjoyed it because of Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn, I think she's perfect for the character. And one of the most memorable scenes was when she was in disguise and was knocking everybody around with that glitter bomb grenade launcher or whatever it was. But I really like the way the coat looks in this with all those extra little tools and gadgets. Super tiny details all around, like the Harley Quinn on her shirt and the tattoos on her leg. And it's got that nice pop of pink with the scarf. I just really like this one. And even the box art is nice. And this one actually has an insert in the back that's holographic. It's just a really nice collectible for $11. And she looks very different than the other Harley Quinns. So it's nice to mix it up if you have a large collection. Harley Quinn as Robin is from the comic books. I haven't read the story, but it's one of those where she teams up with Batman. So of course she dresses like Robin, except with an H instead of an R. And it just looks really good, especially if you'd like to think about it outside of the story. And that she's just wearing a Robin outfit to mock Batman after the Joker kills Robin. If you want to think about it in a more sinister way. Another very unique pop from Birds of Prey is the broken hearted Harley Quinn. And I believe this was a box lunch exclusive. But again what I like about this one is that it's a lot different than all the other Harley Quinns. But you can still tell it's her because of the little heart tattoo and of course her hyena. That's eating a human foot, so you know it's evil. And they did the running makeup under the eye really well. It's subtle, but noticeable. That could have been really bad. There's also a couple of little details that you don't notice right away. Like it says Bruce on the hyena's dog tag. And Harley Quinn has a little butt flap. Just a great pop all around. Dr. Harleen Quinzel. In the tradition of Batman villains' real names, Predicting their future criminality. <laughs> this one was really stretching it. Harleen Quinzel. But this is her as a psychiatrist. Before she's seduced by the Joker. And turns into Harley Quinn. It's pretty simple. But it's from the animated series that had simple art. Very stylized art. But it translated well. And what I really like about this one is that the file actually says the Joker on it. And her name tag Quinzel. Super super tiny details. 
And I also like the cat eye makeup they gave her. It's an excellent pop from an excellent series. The only thing I don't like about the Mad Love Harley Quinn is that she's in a generic DC superheroes box instead of a Batman the Animated Series box. She's got the Animated Series head, and that's where you first see her in her nightgown. To me, it was extremely memorable, and the sculptor did a really good job conveying Harley Quinn's coquettishness with the way they did the body. It's perfect, and it could have turned out really bad. To me, the best Harley Quinn, based on the comic books, is this one from DC Rebirth Suicide Squad. It's taken from this cover, and it's pretty accurate. The only thing that's missing is the hit him with the hind from her shirt, which is a Howard Stern reference, which I think is actually copyrighted. So that's probably why it's not on the pop. But I kind of like it without it anyway. It would have been a cool detail to have, but Howard Stern really doesn't have anything to do with Harley Quinn, so I don't mind them leaving it out. But what I really like about this pop is that it kind of combines all of the Harley Quinns into one. Her hair is like the movie version of Harley Quinn, and so is the heart tattoo, except for red this time. And the red and black and the mallet are like the animated series Harley Quinn, except for this one has guns and a bullet belt and a more combat-ready look like she does in the comics. It kind of combines all the cool things of all the Harley Quinns into one. At number two, for me, it's the straight up common Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. Yes, the movie wasn't very good. And it's up to debate which one's worse, Birds of Prey or Suicide Squad. It's a very dumb debate that nobody should waste their time on, but it is debatable which one's worse. But it did give us the Margot Robbie Harley Quinn, and I absolutely loved this look and this outfit specifically. I don't think her original Jester outfit would work in movie form. It's a little too simple and a full body skin tight Jester outfit would be inconvenient just to go to like the grocery store, much less be a super villain. So I really understood why they went with this look and it just really worked for me. I think it fits her personality. It's sexy and she uses that as a weapon. She is a psychiatrist after all. And the baseball bat was a good substitute for the mallet. And I think it all translated over really well into pop form. Because overall, I think it looks great. And it was one of the best pops of 2016. And the best Harley Quinn Funko Pop, in my opinion. Harley Quinn from Batman the Animated Series, of course. It was her debut. This costume works so well in animated form. It's just the perfect design for a female sidekick to the Joker. And all Funko had to do was not mess it up, and they didn't. It was smart to make the eyes white. I love the way the ruffs look on the end of her sleeves, the way they did her hands. I actually like that they didn't give her the mallet to make her look different than some of the previous Harley Quinns. It just looks perfect. To me, if I were to only own one Harley Quinn pop, regardless of value, just purely based on what I first think about when I think about Harley Quinn, What's the most nostalgic for me? It's this version and the pop captures the character really well. Hear, hear.